is Darkness here once again with a bit more of the Bloodborne playthrough of Amigo 1. Now, you may notice something from my previous playthrough. It's a bit different. I'm using the Ludwig's Holy Blade instead of the uh, Saw Cleaver. Now, I'm going to be intent on getting the Saw Cleaver up as well, just so I have a good mix of weapons. But just to show you what weapons I'll be using for this, I will be using, of course, Tolatris, because Tolatris is absolutely badass, and it's, like, absolutely nothing. Um, the other thing I will be using for this playthrough is, of course, Ludwig's Holy Blade, which, uh, if you've been following my guide, you'll notice I was using Saw Clearer, but then someone said to me that I probably should actually switch to the Ludwig's Holy Blade. Uh, which, of course, is a very nice two-handed sword, and it scales so well with both strength and skill, which I've been building up. Kind of like a sword cleaver, but this does also scales with arcane damage. And overall, it's just generally a nice weapon with a very nice move set. Anyway, I'm going to be sort of shut up and actually go to show you where we're going to be going here. Now, after... Now... Just to show you where we are, uh, because I just realized there I didn't actually show you how to get to the second floor here in my previous video, so I'll be doing that right now. Um, where we're going is, uh, I believe it is up to the. If I mean, if you've been watching my video, basically it's in the same room that we killed, um, that we killed the the one reborn. So, if you go to, uh, if you've gone to the Hunter Stream beforehand, go to the Advent Plaza. Now, this will, I'm I'm sure it's the Advent Plaza. If not, this is going to be fun. Um, but, yes, the Advent Plaza is where we're heading. This is the very, yeah, this is the room where you killed the one reborn. So, what you want to do is, all right. <coughs> I'm not sure if it'll trigger a second time, but what you can just see um, is we go up here and we inspect this mummy, which will take us to the second floor of the lecture building. And I'm just I'm just going to tell you now, folks. There's going to be a couple of changes on my channel. Um, for one, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm actually going to be recording the streams in 30 minute chunks. Reason being is that, if I do it at 15, it's too short, not really much gets done. But, um, 30 minutes is just about enough time to get some decent amount of content done. So yeah, there's that. So we open up the second floor, and this is where the bullshit enemies are. These, uh, m these messy things. So, what we want to do is go over here. Open up shortcut. Well, it's not a shortcut. It's to get an item here, which is here. Now, of course, that's to get sinos. They will be very handy for what we're doing next, which is nightmare immenses. Now, of course, you want Tonatrus equipped, and you want to uh, use Tonatrus because these guys die so easily to Tonatrus. So now, what we want to do is, there's quite a number of bullshit enemies here, just because they spit. They have a long range, and they spit, and it's annoying. So what we're going to do here is... Oh, we can't go over that side. Shit. Yeah, these guys are annoying, because they, they do this spray. do is get out of that. We're just going to clear the other side now. I would have avoided these guys, but it is just, they are bullshit in terms of, they do have a flattening pancake attack, which is really annoying. So we're just going to wait for the melee guy to get here. Because uh, once the melee guy gets here, we can take him out and the others will be much easier to deal with. Oh! Hello. Yep, 
Yeah, they have that bullshit, like, smack, like, uh, spray attack. But if you get behind them, there should be no problem. So what we're going to do is get this, which is a bloodstone chunk there. Very useful for upgrading weapons, of course. Then we're going to go back to the other side. And... I'm trying to remember which room it's in now. Uh, nope, not in here, nothing here. So it is... Oh, it's in uh, it's the opposite side. It's where we were. So, there's only like three items on this floor. Uh, the centers are very useful. You will want those for ni uh, Nightmare Immensus. And it seems we missed one. So what we're going to do is go over. Now, guys, you may notice that I'm not banking souls at the moment for 39,000. That's because I did quite a lot of leveling, actually. Uh, outside um, of the venues, the reason being is that I wanted to get some bloodstone chunks, but I'll show you where to get those. But you yeah, have those guys. Um, in there can actually aggro you uh, from the opposite side and spray you through the wall, <laughs> which is like, yeah, WTF, man. Um, what the bloody hell? Whoa! Hello, where did you come from? I do love the wee scraps of things here, but it says. Uh, yeah, basically your courage will be tested. So right now we're going to get Quicksilver bolts. Always nice to have. Now I've got the eye wound equipped that we got from Master Wilhelm. This gives you better item drops or a better chance of discovering stuff. So we'll move over here and. Yeah, we can't really do anything about this giant. So the best thing really is to actually ignore him. The reason being is we want to get past him and open up the shortcut. Well, our level damage doesn't really do much. Okay. Probably can't stagger me because I'm just not doing it right. Why won't you just die? So, twin blood shards from him. Now, we're going down here for a shortcut. Down the first floor. So, we just do this. Um, we meet Patches, who is pretty much in all Souls games. He's the bastard that tricked us, so what we're going to do is, we're going to go to, oh, yeah. uh, talk to him. No, he didn't. Yeah. Hmm. Did indeed. indeed, I shared with you a thing you should appreciate. Yeah, now you talk to him in order, to, uh, no Such a yeah, basically exhausts his dialogue to get an anti-clockwise metamorphosis rune, which uh, will give you extra health, I believe. Oh no, it's raises your stamina, which is very good. So, if we open this, open this door up, this will be a shortcut down the first floor, and then we just head back up. And uh, next, we're going to be doing the uh, Nightmare of Mensis, which can be a bitch. And, I mean, you can get items at the start. I'm going to wait until I actually have killed Mensis. reason being is that 
Frenzy is a bullshit mechanic, and we don't have many synonyms, so obviously we want to try and reduce the chance of dying them uh, early. So we are going, where are we going? Just making sure we have everything from the second floor here, and then... Chords. Yeah, so I think that is what we're going to do is just double check here everything. We'll do this just so that we can check and uh, make sure that we aren't missing anything. Okay, so that's where we came in. Just make sure nothing there. Okay, so this is pretty much this entire thing cleared. Because I got the sedatives, I got the um uh, I got the thing from the corpse over there, um, which you need to do you bank around. And I also got the um the metamorphosis from patches. So now <laughs> Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to do Nightmare Mentis next, which is... Oh no, wait, we don't want to go outside, why are we doing that? Oh, why did I do that? Because I just remember there's a treasure chest that we didn't get. What we want to do is go up here. Now, for the most part, most of these enemies just uh, just ignore um, for this first part. The only one that you can't really is this uh, uh, Lauren Silver Beast. The reason is that you get a wandering nightmare from up here. Um, we have the bullshit enemies are. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, these things actually do quite a lot of damage, and they're really bloody annoying. Yeah, as you can see, they do get remarkable amount of damage for their small size. So, yeah, you can see the Wandering Nightmare up there, so conscious equipped. And get three blood chunks from that, so that's quite good. Go up to the left, get frenzy cobalt. Now this is the main mechanic of this area, and this is why you need to avoid this, is or avoid fighting it here. So what we're going to do is, before we head on, just so I don't forget, we're going to head back to the second floor lecture hall. And I'm going to get a feeling that I actually have gotten the sale item. <coughs> that I've got the uh, item from the chest that I'd uh, gotten. Where is it? Just check the item. 
So, lecture building, second floor. So, yeah, there's a commu yeah, it's the communion room, that was the third thing. Just over here. No, this wasn't the room. Oh, boy, hell, this is the room. I'm trying to remember where it is. in the main hall. Okay. That's the one attack that's annoying from them. Does that make you like a pancake attack on you? Senators are always good to have more senators. Uh, so, run down. Is why we use Tantris on these rather than the Holy Blade is that these guys do have high physical defense, even though that their health is low. Ah yes, I remember where it is now. Why did I go around in like three s separate circles and miss this? There's just 
just down here on the opposite side. The communion room. And now we're going to head to uh okay, why are we heading to? Oh, nightmare messes. So actually, you know what, since I've cleared this part of, uh, since I've cleared the lecture there, what well, I'm going to... thought that Jai was getting aggressive there. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to cut out the video here, now that we've cleared out the uh, lecture building and have everything. And then we're going to go to Nightmare Immensus. So just head here. Yes, return to the hunter stream. Endurance up and go to just sort of gems and then, <coughs> well, yeah, gems and stuff. And then we're gonna head on. No clockwise, 10%, 10%. So, yeah, um, got quite a number of nice runes. Moon is very nice, especially like a game like this. Because you'll get more blood echoes that way. Um, doesn't give a percentage like buds. So at the moment, since I'm not farming uh, for, actually no, I'm going to keep the eye. So yeah, just a little, basically my st my strategy is uh, just leveling. Gonna be leveling up my strength, my stamina, and my, my strength, endurance, and my skill to 30. That way I can Welcome do ahead. decent damage, but also keep, uh, be able to keep running and keep moving, really. And we have 19 in sight. Alright, so... Okay, so, right, we got that. Go to the Nightmare Headstone. And we're going to Nightmare Menses. Okay, so we're going to pause we're gonna pause the stream here and I will be back in just a moment. <laughs> 